July 22, 2015 Memorial of St. Mary Magdalene A reading from the book of Exodus The children of Israel set out from Elam and came into the desert of Sin, which is between Elam and Sinai, on the fifteenth day of the second month after their departure from the land of Egypt. Here in the desert, the whole assembly of the children of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. The children of Israel said to them, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. But you had to lead us into this desert to make the whole community die of famine. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will now rain down bread from heaven for you. Each day the people are to go out and gather their daily portion. Thus will I test them to see whether they follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, however, when they prepare what they bring in, let it be twice as much as they gather on the other days. Then Moses said to Aaron, Tell the whole congregation of the children of Israel, Present yourselves before the Lord, for he has heard your grumbling. When Aaron announced this to the whole assembly of the children of Israel, they turned toward the desert, and lo, the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the grumbling of the children of Israel. Tell them, in the evening twilight you shall eat flesh, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread, so that you may know that I, the Lord, am your God. In the evening, quail came up and covered the camp. In the morning, a dew lay all about the camp, and when the dew evaporated, There on the surface of the desert were fine flakes like hoarfrost on the ground. On seeing it, the children of Israel asked one another, What is this? For they did not know what it was. But Moses told them, This is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. The Word of the Lord The response is, The Lord gave them bread from heaven. They tempted God in their hearts by demanding the food they craved. Yes, they spoke against God, saying, Can God spread a table in the desert? The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Yet he commanded the skies above, and the doors of heaven he opened. He rained manna upon them for food, and gave them heavenly bread. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels, food he sent them in abundance. He stirred up the east wind and the heavens, and by his power brought on the south wind. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. And he rained meat upon them like dust, and like the sand of the sea, winged fowl, which fell in the midst of their camp round about their tents. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, She bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. 
Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading comes from Exodus 16, 1 to 5, and 9 to 15. The people of Israel are complaining again, kvetching, because they don't have enough to eat. And they say, we had our flesh pots in Egypt, we had our fill of food, why did you have to bring us out to the desert to die? And what is God's response? Again, a gracious response. Instead of punishing them for their grumbling, he gives them bread from heaven. Now, bread from heaven, some sort of residue that's left on the ground, it sort of looks like a coriander seed. And the Israelites were to gather this up in baskets, only as much as they needed for the day, twice that amount when the Sabbath was coming, and they were to grind it to make it into bread. What was this residue? Well, even the name of it says that we're not really sure, because manna, in Hebrew, manhu, simply means, what is this? They didn't know what it was. Some people have speculated that it was resin from plants. Some others have said it might have even been insect doo-doo, which it might have nourished the people for 40 years, but I wouldn't buy their cookbook. Whatever it was, and it might even have been something miraculous, just like the splitting of the Reed Sea, might have been something that happened only once in history, that God provided for his people for 40 years by some miraculous food. Whatever it was, it was a gift of God. God once again taking care of his people, shepherding them, nourishing them. And so, in fact, the people found this manna, which continued until they entered the Promised Land. The Gospel is from John 20, 1-2, and 11-18. to Remember, this is the memorial of Mary Magdalene, and this is the account of how Mary Magdalene goes to the tomb. In the first section, she goes to the tomb alone, early in the morning. Now, early in the morning means when you can see the light at the horizon, but you can't see the disk of the sun yet. And she goes to the tomb alone. The four Gospels have different numbers for the women who went to the tomb. In John, it's one, because Mary Magdalene represents the church looking for her beloved. In Matthew, it's two, because you need two to give witness. In Mark, it's three, because it's probably how many there were. And in Luke, it's the whole lady sodality, because Luke very much likes women and shows them in important roles throughout his Gospel. So how many women were there? The answer ultimately is yes, there were women. She runs and tells Peter and the beloved disciple that the Lord has been taken from the tomb. Now in the passage we don't hear, the passage in between the first part and the second part, they run to the tomb and find that in fact Jesus is risen. Mary stands outside weeping. She sees a man who she thinks is the gardener. Now this is Jesus and she'll only recognize him when he calls her by name. Why does she recognize him at that point? because the sheep recognize the voice of the shepherd when he calls them by name. Jesus is the good shepherd. Why does she not recognize Jesus? Well, in three passages in the scripture, resurrection narratives, Jesus is not recognized. Here, on the road to Emmaus, and when the disciples are fishing on the Sea of Galilee. In other passages, he is recognized. The message being that with the resurrection of the dead, we'll be the same but changed. And we don't really know what that means. Paul compares it to the seed planted in the ground of the plant that grows after. There's a continuity, but they don't look exactly the same. Mary, when she's called by name, says Rabuni, and she tries to cling to Jesus. And Jesus doesn't allow it. He has to ascend to his father. She can't hold on to him. She can't keep him body and soul. Because he will be present to her in spirit from now on. And so Mary Magdalene runs and announces to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. Remember the phrase Lord is the word that was used in the Old Testament as a substitute word for the name Yahweh. So it means God. When she calls Jesus the Lord, she's saying that he is God. And may God bless us.